Hello everyone. Uh, today we are going to take a look at the integration between Citrix SD-WAN and uh, AWS Transit Gateway Connect. For the purpose of this uh, short demo video, uh, this is how our deployment looks like. We have one SD-WAN appliance that's hosted on-premise. We have a couple of uh, SD-WAN appliances hosted inside AWS within the Northern California region. These uh, instances have been deployed in high availability mode and function in a primary secondary manner. And these are then connected to a transit gateway component uh, over a GRE tunnel. The transit gateway is uh, further connected to two VPCs. And within these two VPCs, there are uh, two client VMs through which we are going to initiate some traffic in the backend and see if that traffic goes over to the GRE tunnel. And we are able to see that traffic on sd wan side as well as in uh, the AWS console. Okay. So now we have uh, logged into the Citrix SD-WAN orchestrator, uh, which is a single pane of a uh, glass management tool for uh, uh, Citrix SD-WAN. And now uh, we'll just go ahead and configure the components required for uh, AWS Transit Gateway Service. Okay. The first step here is to add the site that we have already provisioned inside AWS. So this is the site that I want to connect to the transit gateway. As soon as I click on save, it automatically picks up the region within which this has been deployed. Now I have to associate it to the transit gateway, which has already been provisioned. And this is the ID of the transit gateway. The VPC attachment tag, I'm calling it uh, TGW connect attachment. This is just for identification purposes. Uh, the VPC is the one uh, which uh, within which we want this to be provisioned and the subnet uh, is the one which we want to share with uh, AWS. Okay, so I'll just click on deploy VPC attachment. In the next step, the first step I have to do is uh, I have to create a CIDR block for uh, GRE and this is the one that I'm picking right now, 1110 slash 24, save, connect peer, GRE tunnel IP, this is on the AWS side. The peer address is the IP address of the SD-WAN appliance. And similarly for um, for BGP inside CIDR block and the PRASN number. So I'll just quickly go ahead and click on this button. Uh, this is the information that has been entered in the previous screen. This is just to show the summary. Once I click on save, the next step that I have to do uh, is to push the configuration. It will take uh, three to four minutes for the configuration to go through. Uh, so we'll uh, we'll do it in the background. Okay, so the configuration push has uh, succeeded. So now we'll uh, look into the monitoring pages to see if the traffic is flowing from SD WAN. So let's go to reports real time. I'll pick the site for which I want to see uh, the traffic. Let's click on routes and see if uh, the routes are getting exchanged. So this service is the one uh, that we have created on the SD-WAN side uh, in the background. And this signifies uh, all routes that are getting exchanged uh, will, will get identified with this uh, particular service. So it looks like routes are getting exchanged. We'll go ahead and see the status of the GRE tunnel. Okay, GRE tunnel seems to be up, traffic's being exchanged. And now we'll just see if the traffic is being sent over these van links, just to get a real time feel for it. Okay, so this is the amount of traffic that's being exchanged. Let's just refresh once more to see if these values are changing. Yep, looks like the values are changing, so it's good. So it means the traffic is being exchanged on the red tunnel status is up and the traffic is being sent over these van links. So similarly, uh, we'll now go into the AWS uh, management console. So 
so this is the connect attachment and we'll see what is the status of the tunnel status of the tunnel is up okay uh, we'll log into network manager and see if traffic is being exchanged i'll pick one hour and make sure that the refresh interval is 10 seconds so looks like uh, the traffic is flowing and we'll just quickly see if any routes or if any bytes are being dropped looks like all's good so this is what we wanted to show in this uh, short video Thank you for watching.